Okay, Pop's old boat's back here. We're gonna do a little single-handed mass standing video. Now, I've got my block set up to where I will be pulling from the top of the mast down. I've slid the mast back and I've already secured the bolt. It's got enough tension to keep the nut from falling off the bolt, but it's gonna hold it in place. What I've done is I've ran my block up to the foresail sheet line. That way I can use the mechanical multiplication of the blocks to pull everything toward the front to get it down. And then if I need to, I can run the sheet line through and wrap it around a winch and give it a couple extra cranks. All right, now the first thing you need to do is when you start to stand it up, you need to check every single one of your lines. You need to make sure none of them are under cleats. As you pull up, that cleat would grab that standing rig and, and jerk the mass back out of your hand. You wanna make sure everything's free, nothing's tangled. And what I do is I come out and I stand away from the vessel and I'll make sure that my rigging is not touching anything. Now, see here, this inspection, it's crucial. This is my Ford standing rigging. I'm down in front and it has to always stay in front of that blue sheet line because that sheet line will actually go up the back of the hank on sail that's the force sail on this. And it is time to replace these, but we're gonna get one day and test the electric motor out. I think you'll be able to see me. At this point, I will make sure that I don't have any of the standing rigging snagged or hung or anything else. I wanted to make sure the rear standing rigging is clear of anything that it will tangle, as this vessel does have the rear standing rig line. I will tension the rope once I get it up. This will aid in lifting and take the weight off of having to lift the mast, which with this small mast, as you can see, I can pretty much toss it around any way I want to. It is not a very easy task. I probably should have put a little pressure to purchasing on the boom vane before I started it up. Getting a little overconfident with that thing. I must pull the sheet line down to get the force stay down to where it needs to be fastened into the eye at the bow of the boat. Get this sheet line pulled back and lock it into the sheet line lock. Checking to make sure I'm not hung on anything. Then get your footing, step up, pull your slack out. Now, it would have actually been better if I would have kept the slack out as I came up. But I think over the few times I've done this mast, I've gotten a little more confident of doing it than I actually should be. You could damage it, you could drop it. And slam it down, bend it all to pieces. Now I parked, you'll notice there's a lot of traffic going around where I'm at, but I'm actually in between two long parking spots so that I have clearance and I have a spot next to me. Port side is clear. Both those spots are empty. No vessels or trailers were parked there. No vehicles in them. And Tried to keep it safe. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually pulling a little more tension 
to get the force stay toward the eye on the bow of the boat because this does not have turnbuckles in this downrigging. It has shackles. For anyone not familiar with shackles, it's where two pieces are slid together and bolted. There is no adjustment on this. Now on the very back stay, on the only back stay, there is a turnbuckle and that's the only adjustment I have. So basically when this mask goes into place, it gets pinned in at its tuned in position. Try to say that 10 times real fast. Now I'm going to give the sheet line a lock and a pull, tighten it down so that I can come around to the bow of the boat and finish doing the installation of the Ford standing rigging. Make sure that none of the lines are tangled Everything's coming down the way it will need to be whenever I'm out. Same thing with the four stay. I'm checking to make sure it's untangled and ready to go right down to this bow. And whenever I get it down to the bow eye, I'll be able to come around on the ground. Put a little more tension on this. And what I'll do is I will actually tie this to the bow pit after I get everything tensioned down to make sure I can actually get the pin in the bow eye. And then I'll do a lashing around the stainless here. Good and tight because this is all that is holding the mast up right now. It's just balancing on its own. So this block and tackle system that I'm using as a mechanical leverage is the only thing I have as a helper today. At this point, I need to readjust the tension on the mast to bring it forward just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm tucking it under the jack that is actually on the trailer. If you don't have that to your availability, you can actually use the bow eye and maybe a, a block tackle to roll it through. Just whatever you have to your advantage. Now I'm going to tie it back to the bow stainless and then get the pin in and then once I have the pin in place I'll go back around to the back now what I'm going to do is release the tension on the sheet line so that I can bring the sheet line down to the front and I'll actually hook it on the same point that the standing rigging's on and this is so that later on I can hook my Hank on sail on to and pull it back up. So this will actually be on the back of my boom here in just a minute whenever we pull over to the water. So we just unhook 
the D-ring that I have here through the bowling knot and then I'll put the sheet line back over to the side. I'm noticing right there that I've got a little chafe on that rope so I'm going to have to shorten this thing up pretty soon or replace it all together. But you know, like I said, I'm just wanting to go for a test sale to check out this electric motor. Now to single hand to launch, I've got my cleat attached under it, through it, over it, way back aft. Now when I'm done, this line will actually be further back. That's so it don't drift away from the dock. So far, it's never failed me. Thanks for viewing. Like, subscribe, and follow. If you need anything, just ask.